Hi friends, I am Jitendra Bafna. Today we will going to see a flow and subflow with Mule ESB. And we will going to see more thing like how to call subflow from the parent flow, how to, what are the various way to call one flow from another flow. So we will going to see all the concept. So let me create one new application file new Mule project. I will say flow subflow app. Runtime, I will keep it as a default runtime. I will not going to change. In your environment, there can be more than one runtime. You can select depending on your requirement. I will keep rest of the setting as a default setting. I will not going to change. I will simply click on finish. Okay. So like, what is flow? So I will see. Let me drag and drop HTTP listener. So this is your, this is the flow for you. Okay. So under flow, you have a message source, you have a message processor. Message source is basically is used to receive the message, okay, to, from the uh, various sources, various endpoints, okay. And in the message processor, like you can define various business logic, okay. And finally, you can have a uh, like uh, connector which can connect outside the world, like if you can send the message, uh, okay, using the Message processor. Okay, let me start. Uh, I will say HTTP. I will say. I will click on under connector configuration. I click on add. I will keep all the settings as a default. I will say okay. Here I will say flow. Here I will say get. Okay. This is my under this. I will call set payload. First, you will go one by one. Okay, and the set for we'll say flow one executed. Right, I will save it. I will run the project. So let me start the application. Here, I will use the Postman to test it. I will say flow. Let's wait. Application get deployed. Not deployed. I will pin the method to get. I will send. We got flow one executed. Now I will use other flow. I will drag and drop or other flow below the parent flow. Here, what I can do, I will use set payload in flow two. Okay, I can. Put the message flow full executed. Now I want to call uh, flow two from flow one, so I can use flow reference. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. So under flow reference, you can see a flow name. You have to give a flow name which you have to call. I have a subflow F1. Right? So basically what will happen like when you're using the flow reference, right? When you are calling the one flow from other. So your like uh, all session variable or flow variable be also accessible in the second flow. If you are accessing using the sub uh, flow reference, right? So now what I will do, I will save the application again. But one thing like uh, when you are calling you know, uh, child flow parent from parent flow, your processing strategy and the exception strategy will not be okay. uh, your processing strategy and the exception strategy will be different for flow 1 and different for the flow 2. Okay, It doesn't override the exception strategy and the processing strategy from the parent flow. Let me save the application. Let me just execute it once again. Now see, you got another payload flow to execute it. So from this parent flow, the flow two has been called. Now I can remove this. Okay, uh, I can let I will call one subflow. I will drag and drop one subflow here. 
okay what is the use of subflow so basically like you have some logic which is reusable across many flow so that logic can be you know let logic can be uh, implemented in the subflow so let me again set payload only i will say subflow executed fine now what i will do i will use a flow reference i will drag and drop flow reference in the parent oh, just delete me in the parent okay i will give the subflow name this is my subflow okay let me save the application let's wait till application get deployed okay let me so now subflow is going to be executed so you know the processing strategy exception strategy will be override by the subflow from parent flow so whatever strategy processing strategy or exception strategy you have defined on the parent flow it will be override by the subflow but it is you know reverse in the or not a reverse it is not possible in the flow when you are calling from one flow to another flow so the processing strategy and the exception strategy will not be override from parent flow by child flow okay, okay. and like uh, but session variable and flow variable you will, when you are calling any flow or sub flow using flow reference your session variable and uh, flow variable will you can access in the sub flow and the flow okay. so what let me do one thing now there are various way of calling the let me delete sub flow uh, let me delete this so let me use http here http requester let me put http listener in the other flow so let me configure for http listener so i will say uh, flow 2 what is this i will say get only okay here what i will do i have to execute parent flow i have to execute child flow from parent flow using http so here what i can do i will see connector configuration i will click on this add button i will say local host port is always 8081 okay and you have to give the path of this so in my this method the path is flow 1 right so we have defined here flow for the flow 2 fine so we have to define flow 2 here what is the method we have defined get it means we have to define the get here let me see the application Okay, let's wait our application is deploying okay it got deployed let me say if the flow 2 has been executed okay so i have used i have called the um, parent flow using http okay and the parent flow has called the child flow using http only so basically what is what will happen uh, when you are calling you know other flow using http your session variable and the flow variable will not accessible in the child flow fine now other thing we can do using vm also let me remove this i will say vm i will drag and drop vm into message source region of the child flow okay i will configure i will click i have to do a queue path so i will say flow 2 let connector configure click on this add i will say okay i will not going to change anything now i will drag and drop vm into message processing region of the parent flow i'm going to configure it one way i have to give a queue path similar to this only so i give a flow to okay i have saved that okay that's fine so let's wait application is de it's deployed now let me send we, we got flow one executed let's wait what mistake i've done
flow two. I haven't done the connector configuration. I will say VM1, so it should be same. Okay. Let me send it. Flow one executed. Let me let wait. Oh, it should be request response. I'm very sorry. It should be a request response. Okay. I have done mistake. It should not be one way. It should be a request response. Okay, let me send it again. See, this time you got a flow to execute it. So, what a mistake I have done? I haven't selected the request response. So, because when you are calling, you know, child flow from parent flow, so it should be a request response. So, whatever response, okay, generated from child flow, it will return back to the parent flow. So, what are the uh, difference between, you know, like calling flow from HTTP or or calling flow from VM. So in HTTP, if you are calling flow from HTTP, your flow variable, means the session variable will not accessible in the other in the child flow. Where is in, in VM, it is quite possible you can access your session variable and flow variable in the child flow. Okay. So hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching video.